Yo. Huh? What time is it? Oh, hi, I'm sorry. All right, I'm on my way. I overslept. Nice start to the day. Yeah, business is picking up, eh? See anything? A big close-up of the sidewalk. How many shots? One big one. What do we know about the stiff? Theo Barrett, age 38, married, two children. Should we go and talk to the wife? Or should I say the widow? Yeah. I'd like to wash up, change my shirt first. We intend to find out. Thursday was our anniversary. Theo bought me a negligee. It was only two sizes too small. Twelve years married. Two children. He still thinks I'm the same size. Did he have any enemies? Enemies? The people who shoot him, kill him. Miss Dempsey, I don't know of anyone. Anyone. Did he have any phone calls or letters that upset him? No. Business problems? Money problems? You see those? He picked them before he took the girls to play school. dug out of the wall and the discharge shell found on the rooftop, both the same. 7.62 millimeter, Parker Hale, full metal case, copper jacketed bullet, soft nose, right twist, weighed about 191.6 grams. Telescopic sight. That might have been. It's still a hell of a shot. True. But no messages, no calls. Why the hell should that be? Dempsey thinks it's a nut. 
Oh, you don't think it's some fruitcake? Come on, why else would some nice, normal 38-year-old guy get iced? Nuts. Dempsey, hang about. This is not Dallas. This is dull old London, remember? We don't have many snipers here. A tower, a queen, and some warm beer. But not many snipers. Nuts. Get on your computer and get peddling. Who's this? Hang on. Dempsey! What? For you. Me? Yo, Dempsey. Should have been you, Dempsey. Should have been you with the bullet in the head. Uh, could you speak up? You. This Chris morning, was Paul. at the bus stop. What about it? Should have been your head that bullet went through. So what are you telling me? I'm telling you, you're next. You're going to have to die, Dempsey. Did I say fruitcake? I underestimated. You recognize the voice? Yeah, it was my mother. Of course not. Some kook got my number out of a phone book. What the hell are you looking at? I never heard that voice before. A, you're not in the phone book. B, neither is SI-10. We took the advert out of the yellow pages. Look, just because it's a woman's voice on the phone doesn't mean she did the shooting. There could be two of them or more. Might be. Or the wife of someone we've put away. That's worth checking. Some guy got ice because of me. Get a real sick feeling. Thanks. I know what you're thinking, Harry. It's this plate glass forehead of mine. You may find this hard to believe, but I am actually on good terms with all my ex-girlfriends. All of them? Yep, all. Well, if I wasn't, it wouldn't be in my head they'd be trying to blow off. What about the ones that never made it as girlfriends? Ships in the night. There's just too many evil germs around these days for that game anymore. Chances are it's someone you know, isn't it? There is one. Nah. nah. Ooh, come on. Well, there's only one broad I know that can shoot like that and might have cause. From the florists. Haven't seen such lilies since Mrs. Foley died. Don't want any carpets cleaned, do you? What? No. Uh, thanks, Mr. Foley. Don't forget your groceries. Yeah. Mr. Foley. Yeah, who's that? Dempsey. You seen a carpenter man, Mr. Dempsey? Yes, yeah, down here. Damn. 
Push the button, I'll send it back up. Oh, thanks. Just try to call me. No. Must have been one of your other girls. Oh, you're my only girl, you know that. Listen, uh, how about a movie tonight? I, I've got the decorators coming tomorrow. Um, I'm busy moving everything. Sorry. That's okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Night. Spark plug gonna do that? So I think maybe they mucked with something else. Check out the whole thing. I want to know if this thing's been messed with. If anything's been done, I want to know about it. Morning. Sleep okay? I never sleep okay. I'll call you in a little bit. No man is an island. Poetry. Poetry. I don't follow. Apropos of the girl's voice on the phone yesterday. I still don't follow. Wow. Single man in London. Long way from home. Lots of pressure. Lots of temptations. We're all human. We are. Mm. We all react in different ways, do we? With me, it was fish. Fish? Mm-hmm. Trout. Had a two-piece fiberglass rod. Whiskey bait. Great way of working off your frustrations. Hangovers. Sifting through a problem. I'll try it sometime. Mm. You're still a member, paid-up member, of the Piscatorial Society. So, uh... <clears throat> so if uh, there's anything, uh, there's anything you want to get off your chest, feel free. It's occurred to me that uh, this could be a contract out of New York. No, no, no. I cabled New York about your um, little problem. Nothing known at all. Well. If that's true, then you can rest assured. Yes? If I can tie that broad's voice up to anybody that I know or have known, you'll be the second person to know. Who'll be the first? Oh, she will. Yo, hey, come on, cut the flivets. One question, was the engine tampered with or not? Could have been. Maybe. Hey, thanks a lot. You know, you're a real wonder. All right. All right. Did you do anything with the clock? Oh, she knows somebody that might. Got into town. Never been here before. Wants me to have dinner with her.
going to love you to death, isn't she? Scott Fitzgerald? Yes. It was Zelda Fitzgerald. She used to say she was never happy in a room that didn't have an open suitcase in it. She went nutty. Says something about you. I didn't realize you had all this equipment. Coffee? Are they from? What do you think? Traceable. Ordered by phone. Money delivered by taxi. Sugar? No, thanks. Nothing on the gun either. Hmm. Your crisps aren't crisp. My crisps are chips. Tom, hmm. a woman in love, or who thinks she's in love. You know what they say, hell hath no fury. Yeah, but I ain't scorn nobody. Knowingly. How did she get that photo? You tell me. She took it. Well, had it taken? Without you realizing. Telephoto lens. Jilted girlfriend, ex-lover. No, no. You don't believe it because you don't want to believe it. I don't believe it because it's not true. You'd like me to start reeling off names and addresses, wouldn't you? Of course not. I just think it might help. Contrary to what you may believe, I am not the Romeo of the NYPD. Although I could tell you a few stories that would curl your hair. I've always wanted curly hair. Well, then stick your finger in a wall socket, because you ain't getting it from me. The solution, whatever it is, wherever it is, lies with you. It has to. Phone. Mm. Aren't you going to answer it? Nope. Why not? Because there's nobody on it. Hello? See for yourself. You. Dempsey. Dempsey? Yeah. This is records. Yeah. We've traced that photograph. That's green. I'm on my way. They trace the picture. A word of it. Sergeant Makepeace, Lieutenant Dempsey. From the local factory, SA10, that's all you need to know. I'll try hard, but I don't think I'm going to like you. Private dick, right? Ever seen this before? Maybe. No, that's the wrong game. The game is yes or no. You've seen this picture, right? You burst in here. I'm having my lunch. You don't even knock on the door. Now you want to follow your lunch? Is he threatening me? Are you threatening him? Yes, I am. Yes, he is. I want my lawyer. If you're looking for trouble, Ripley, I'll help you find it. No, he can't say fairer than that, can he? You hit me. I've got a witness. Close your eyes. Now, wait a minute. This is a diabolical liberty. I'm being harassed here. Last time around, have you seen this picture? Right? Right, yes! Spying and photographing an officer in the pursuit of his duties. What's the sense for that? I didn't know you were a cop. You believe him? Who'd you take the picture for? Ah, well, now that's confidential, see? No, I... There was a bird. A bird. Name! I didn't know her name. Now, look, it was all done on the telephone. It was a one-off. They sent me the cash, and I put them in a packet and sent them to a, a general delivery address. Them? Yeah, well, that wasn't the only one. How many? There were scores of them. Fifty. More? Fifty.
Mr. Foley. Yeah. You see, you're famous already. I am? But Jim's told me all about you. Oh, that's nice. Yes? His jacket's come back from the cleaners. Oh, it's his black jacket. That's my favorite. Did they do a good job? I didn't look. He always has clean and retexture, so I'll just hang this up for him. Thank you very much. That's right. How's he taking it? Fine, outwardly. And inside? Hard to tell. He plays it close. A copper who's never scared is a bad copper. You questioned him about his uh, love life? He says there's no one. You believe that? Well, he's in a difficult position. Aren't we all? Today. All right. Hey, Kathy, how you doing? Fine. How about you? Oh, well, you know it is. Life is hard. And then you die. <laughs> I got to work late tonight. You know, one of the girls has got flu. Yeah? I'm off at 8. I got somebody joining me. Why? You coming apart? What if love comes back, you go a long way. And meanwhile, how about a beer? I thought you'd never ask. The usual? You still here? I'm gone. So, this is where you hang out. This is my joint. You take real good care of me. Give me the New York Times, give me the best burger in town, my favorite beer, and I never have to wait for a table. Getting homesick, homesick. You never get homesick, muscle man? Well, you have to leave home to get homesick. That's true. You want something to eat? Mm -mm, not before a workout. Shall we go? I'm waiting for a beer. I'm waiting for a beer! Thanks. Oh, this is Kathy, another American. Harry, Harry, Kathy. Hi. Hi. Oh! <gasps> God, I'm sorry. It's okay. You trying to get a bigger tip or something? No, this uh, comes with the service. Try to keep your back straight. Don't arch. Hey, yeah, that's good. Now bring it down the front. Alternate front to back. Yeah, that's good. See, that way you work the uh, complementary muscle group.
Lou? Hey, bitch. Leave my man alone. Who are we talking about? Jim. Just get out of his life and stay out of it. because some weirdo is trying to blow my brains away. How are you going to feel about that? Look, if anybody should be taken off this case, it's you. Don't be Jim. ridiculous. I am the case. You're the target. Oh, Jim, come on. Some nuts trying to blow my brains out and you want to get in on it. Cut it out. Both of you. He's got a point, Harry. You devious bastard. Love it when you talk to me that way. Who's that? It's her. Get a trace on this call. Hello. Jim. Speaking. Hey, you got your black jacket on. Looks real good. How are you anyway? Not as sick as you are. <laughs> Only games. You got a real weird sense of humor. Why are you doing this to me? a real odd way of showing it. What's your name? Who needs names? Meet. Ah, uh, listen. Why don't we meet? Would you like that, Jim? Yeah, I would like that very much. What do you say? We, we could talk. We're talking right now. Yeah, but I mean, you know, person to person, you know, that way we could look at each other. What do you say? You'll have to get rid of her. Who? Harry. You can't have both of us, Jim. Harry's nothing. I mean, she's my chauffeur. She knows the streets, drives me around. If she doesn't leave you alone, I'll kill her. I thought you were going to kill me. I am. Or you're going to kill both of us, huh? Well, that's a lot of killing. Don't go. I'm enjoying this conversation. Come on here. We got a chance to talk now. I'm not busy, you know, and, uh... What? Grab some more so you can trace the number. <laughs> I'm not that stupid, Jim. Lots of love. I'll be watching you. No, no, no. Come on. I don't... Damn. Long enough? Not a chance. How did you know what I was wearing? She must have seen you. This is really weird. It's almost as if I know who she is. Obviously, my being around rubs salt in the wound. What did I tell you? So, obviously, I'm going to have to stay with it. How do you make that bright deduction, eh? Put her out of her stride. She'll be so busy thinking about me that she'll trip out and make a mistake. No. Yes. She's got a point. We leave things as they are at present.
Mr. Foley. Yeah. My black jacket came back from the cleaners. Yeah. When? Uh, Tuesday. You sure? Sure. It was all right, wasn't it? Oh, no, no, no. To... no, it was fine. It was fine. I just needed to know when. Thank you very much. Good night. All right, Mr. D, I gave it to uh, the young lady. Young lady? Yeah. There was a young lady in my apartment. Yeah. She let me in. Well, she opened the door. Can you describe her? She didn't have any clothes on. You mean she was in the buff? I couldn't say whether she was in the bath or not, but... Uh, no, no, buff. Naked. She had your robe on. You mean you weren't there? Not only was I not there, I didn't know who she was. Good night, Mr. Foley. Bugs. What kind of bugs? Electronic ones. Excuse me. He's, uh, he's in the bathroom. Mm. how she knows so much about you. Mm -hmm. These are her prints? Could be. It's a woman's hand. Well, she'd been in here, prowling around, wearing my robe. I thought I smelled perfume the other day. She even answered the door. It's almost as if she wants to be caught. Why don't we give her a hand? Dempsey. Yo. Dabs from your place last night. Any luck? Luck doesn't come into it. How about some success, then? Oh, yes. She's on the file. What's her name? Warren. Catherine Warren. Never heard of her. Any aliases? No. Used to work for MI5, though. Explain some of her expertise. Yeah. Apparently, she went a little bit, uh, well, you know. Here. It's all in the file. Thanks. I know that. I'm looking for Kathy. She here? It's important. She's gone. Quit. When? Yesterday morning. Suddenly collected her cards and went. You got her home address? Boss might. He's away. It's a bit sudden, isn't it? Her leaving like that? Out of the blue. She didn't mention it? No. Why do you think she might have? Well, I knew you were close. Especially after her birthday. A birthday? You know. Remind me. Well, she never stopped talking about it. She brought the roses in here, you know. Kept them on the bar. She told you I bought her roses? Yes. We got a real Lulu here, Harry. Did you take her out that night? Yeah. Took her for one drink. Where? It was a cocktail bar two blocks from here. How long did that last? Ten minutes, max. If that's so, then how come the pianist was playing her favorite tune as she walked in? You saying you didn't fix that? You ever been there? On my wages? There is no pianist. I think I feel sick. Excuse me. Just had a thought. What if she can see you as well as hear you? Anything? Well, there's a woman watering her window box. A boy playing the violin. A naked man working out with weights. Where?
Watson said there'd be a bleep when she turns on a receiver. What if she doesn't? I guess you and I are going to sit here and grow old together. Very lucky it interfered with your telly. Wasn't luck. Faulty wiring inside that bug. Sure, I, uh, ran around a lot, but that was before I met you, because, uh, well, I didn't know you. <laughs> uh, but I've changed. I mean, with you, it's different. I wonder how many times you've said that before. Now, what I feel about you, Harry, is special. Very special. I didn't realize. Oh, well, why should you? Uh, I mean, we spend every waking moment together. It's, uh, it's a wonder that we're not bored to tears. I'd like that. No, me. You sure? I don't want to have to put words in your mouth. First, I thought that uh, this was just an affair, but I realize now that it is much, much more. What are you saying? You think you can love me? I don't mean now, but uh, in the weeks and the months to come. Love's not a word that I use easily. Me neither. Although I wake up every morning and my first thought is of you. Same for me. I sit there in the kitchen in the morning with my tea and toast. And in a funny sort of way, I actually look forward to going to work with you. I want to hold you here. I want to feel your hair in my hands going through my fingers. And I want to Kiss your lips and your neck. And smell the perfume coming up through your clothing. I want to rip your clothes off and kiss every inch of your body. Well, why don't you? Fourth floor corner flat. Let's
Kathy. Come down with me. Let me take you down. You kissed me. It was your birthday kiss. You talked to me. You called me love. You, you bought me roses. Why did you do it? I didn't buy you roses. If you want roses, I'll buy you roses. You even had that man play the piano for me. There wasn't any piano. Why did you do it? Do what? Do what? All those things you said. What things? Thelma, is that you? When'd you get in town? 